What are the Mumbai Indians looking for in this IPL auction? Defending champions, they tend to rely on their core group of players. We look at their releases and retentions, you often find some logic that's applied there. We look at the slots left, that's seven, and not a large purse remaining, but that's because a large part of their core is intact. The likes of Rohit Sharma, Kyron Pollard, both the Pandya brothers, and you also have uh, Quinton de Kock and Bumrah to uh, add to that. Lasit Malinga is a year older, but we'll uh, have a chat with uh, Gaurav on who the uh, potential buys could be. They've gotten some interesting trades, the likes of Dhabal Kulkarni and Trent Bolt, Gaurav. So what are the Mumbai Indians looking for? Again, some surprise with some uncapped Indian that goes for big money that their scouting system has seen? Yeah, they can be mere spectators. This auction doesn't look like they really need anybody. Uh, they have their pace bowling sorted, they have their Indian domestic strength sorted, sorted they have their opener sorted. So, uh, it's just potentially go for backups and try to spoil uh, plans of other franchises. Uh, having said that, maybe they might go for someone like Yashasvi Jaiswal just to give him some experience. He's a local boy and they might want uh, him to be around with the group and maybe uh, someone whom they can invest on uh, in the bigger auction uh, next year. Other than that, any notable, say, overseas slots? Are we looking at a Lasit Malinga, who's a year older? Uh, Jaspreet Bumrah, who's only going to be coming back from injury sometime close to the IPL. They've got uh, Kulkarni and Trent Bolt, but are they looking to boost that pace attack any further for you, in your mind? Yeah, they might uh, go for an overseas right-arm pacer. Uh, like you said, if Malinga gets injured, uh, they want a backup because they have Bolt and Mitchell McLahan and they have Dawal Kulkarni. So maybe one right-arm uh, pacer for Malinga and obviously you need a backup for Quinton de Kock as well. Uh, you can't go in with a, to an IPL with uh, just one opener. So maybe uh, Tom Banton, uh, he, who might be very good in the uh, Wankade wicket, he comes way down in the auction. He comes, I think he's uh, way below in the set. So a lot of teams might have actually uh, fixed their overseas opener slot. So maybe Mumbai can actually go and uh, pick up a guy like Tom Banton and see uh, how he works out. Rahul Chahar seems the only frontline leg spinning option. Jayant Yadav the only frontline off spinning option. Uh, is that too thin or is that good enough for the Mumbai Indians given we know how they set up uh, IPL after IPL? Yeah, I'm sure they've thought about it and there are not many spinners, especially local spinners around in the uh, uh, auction pool. So uh, nobody that you want to like must have. So I'm not too sure if uh, they're going to go for anybody big. But if the scouting system, as we know, is so good, if they've identified some mystery spinner or someone who can actually uh, uh, cause problems to the batsmen, maybe you'll see them. Well, they tend to get boring at auctions, the Mumbai Indians, because most of their team is uh, ready and raring to go even before the auction. But thanks to Gaurav Sundaraman, and we'll keep an eye out for what the Mumbai Indians look to add, if at all, in uh, this auction.